think of the word polymath because he really does have this command of so many different disciplines and fields. This is what we want in an alumnus of our faculty. This is an individual that has had remarkable success, international awards, uh, influencing global leaders. Literally and figuratively brings an international face to the School of Forestry. Janicki was my first PhD student that I had coming in as a very young academic, and he spoiled me for the rest of my career. Well, I was born in a small village in southern part of India. Started my life learning alphabets in sand. My village got electricity at grade 11. Both my parents were illiterate. My two elder brothers were actively engaged in farming. They all provided me an opportunity to go to school. Without their sacrifice, actually, I will not be sitting in front of you. I finished my bachelor's in biological sciences and uh, I did my master's in botany in India. When forestry jobs are advertised publicly, then any graduate can compete. And I was fortunate enough to get uh, uh, selected in one of the competitions. From a developing country in a very different context where he was part of a massive bureaucracy as a, call him a dirt forester, right? He was in the field getting his boots dirty. And one of the social forestry projects I was assigned was funded by Canadian International Development Agency. The state government, they asked me to go to University of Alberta, Edmonton as part of the project to learn new skills. We had this program in sociology and forest sociology and it was also within a department that had sociology and economics in one. That was a unique thing, and it's a, a strength. But he did something that's almost never done, which is he started out with his first degree in sociology, in forest sociology, and then went into economics. And those are pretty different approaches, very different lenses. Changing methods, changing theories, and able to do that with ease. Those two skill sets were amazing. Actually, they became the foundations for my career. It was pretty difficult. It made no sense, you know? Like, you want to go back to school now? You've got kids. It's got no real income. It's like, nowhere near to sustain a family of four. It would take two buses to get to the superstore to get groceries that you would have to carry in, like, super cold weather. I'm very proud of them because we persevered and we moved forward with our career goals. So not only was he an outstanding academic, and still is, he was an outstanding administrator and he was an outstanding public service. He worked as a, with the State Department, he was a Jefferson Fellow, he was reporting into Condoleezza Rice on certain issues, he was working in global policy issues, you know, a whole host of different topics. I was given an opportunity to serve as Senior Advisor for International Energy Affairs at the Department of State in Washington, D.C. That was pretty fascinating experience for me. Thinking about the interaction of communities, how forests can actually uh, be sustainable and that they can thrive under the kind of conditions uh, uh, that exist, not only in the US or Canada, he served for a period of time with the Canadian Forest Service, uh, but across the world, advising Brazil, advising uh, other countries in Africa. This is the area that you're really excited about, right? Yes. He will leave this place better than he found it. And it's not just this place, it's the Virginia Tech, it's the Florida, it's what he did in India, it's what he did in, in Central and South America, it's what he did for the State Department. Everywhere he's been, he's made his mark. Uh, the world needs more Jonikies.